Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Friday, June 28th, 2024. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. And just like that, 1,200 mids were snuggled in their beds. It was a long day, but a fun one. And be sure to check out our video from my day. Well, it is Friday, so we better get into it, shall we? But before we get into it, I'd like everyone to set an alarm on their phone for this afternoon at 2.33 p.m. Do that right now. And when it goes off at 2.33 p.m., I'd like you to pause That's the time when a gunman shot through the doors of the Capitol newspaper five years ago today and killed five of our friends, Wendy Winters, Rob Hyacin, Gerald Fishman, John McNamara, and Rebecca Smith. Take a moment, remember them, because we should never forget. On to the news. 1,187 men and women reported to Alumni Hall at the Naval Academy yesterday for Induction Day culminating in an oath of office ceremony yesterday evening. These incoming plebes or freshmen were processed through various stations to become members of the Naval Academy's class of 2028. The stations included uniform issue, medical exams, haircuts, and learning to salute. After the 6 p.m. oath of office ceremony at Tecumseh Court outside of Bancroft Hall, the plebes met with their families one last time for 30 minutes until they see them on plebe parents weekend in mid-August. Now, plebe summer is a rigorous training period. It officially begins right after that ceremony. And by the numbers, the class of 2028 includes 814 men, 373 women from nearly 15,000 applications. There were 511 minority students and 17 international students. Legacy students include 38 men and 27 women, with seven of them having both parents as alumni. During plebe summers, students will consume 4,000 calories per day. They'll wake at 5.30 a.m., undergo 135 hours of physical training and run 100 miles, and memorize 225 pages of the Reef Points Manual. They won't have access to the internet, television, music, movies, or radio, not allowed to have cell phones, and they're only allowed three phone calls during the seven weeks. It's a walk in the park. The Annapolis Film Society and the Annapolis Film Festival will screen the documentary Never Too Much at the Bowen Theater in Maryland Hall on Wednesday, July 10th. The film chronicles the life and career of Luther Vandross, focusing on his early years and his rise to fame at Harlem's Apollo Theater. Using rare archival footage and interviews with friends and collaborators such as Mariah Carey and Dionne Warwick, the film does explore Vandross's Grammy-winning career, personal life, and health struggles. It was directed by Don Porter. The documentary does aim to highlight Vandross's significant impact on the late 20th century music. Tickets are available now and will sell out. That's why I'm telling you. The doors will open at 6.30 on the 10th, and the film will start promptly at 7. Hey, let's get into some events. Here is what's happening on this weekend. On Saturday, the 29th, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., it is a big B.I.G. book sale held at 451 Defense Highway. This is an initiative of the Rotary in Annapolis. I do love this. It is great for browsing and really great on the wallet if you're looking to buy some books. The local by design market will host the cocktail hour at 4 p.m. on Friday and remain open until 7 p.m. for a shopping event featuring local artisans and vendors at 1818 Margaret Avenue, Annapolis. The market does continue from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday, and this is their monthly market. Awesome time. Lots of cool little stores in there. On Friday night, you can join the Annapolis Bike Party's Pride Ride to close out Pride Month. They're meeting at 7.30 p.m. at Acton Cove Park for a casual ride around town. On Saturday, the Banneker Douglas Museum is going to host Rhythm and Hughes. It's a block party from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. celebrating history, music, and community engagement. The event will feature live music, art, and food with the Centerpiece Exhibition on Civil Rights. At 7 p.m. on Saturday, the Annapolis Blues soccer team plays the Virginia Beach City. And that's really a silly name for a soccer team. But they take them on at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium, and I'm sure they're going to win. Tickets are only $12 for adults and $10 for kids under 12. 
On Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., you can watch Fire in the Kitchen. It's a pickleball classic at the Pitt Moyer Rec Center. Supporting fire safety programs, admission is free, and I'm going to say the pickleball is the new CrossFit. On the repeating but no less fun side of things, Saturday is dinner under the stars on West Street from 5 p.m. until late, and Sunday at City Dock is the Art and Public Places Commission's Summer Concert Series that gets underway at 6.30. It's going to be hot this weekend again, so if you are outside, please stay hydrated and use that sunscreen. Of course, you want to be sure to catch our local business spotlight on Saturday at noon. This week, we speak with Bob Ireland from Bellow McCree, which is a wonderful organization doing great things. And how many nonprofits or even companies do you know that have had the same CEO for more than 30 years? He must be doing something right. Today on Canines and Crosstracks, we meet Bella, the most stunning pug and chihuahua mix. And by stunning, I'm talking about her color. She's also a real sweet dog and ready to roll. Listen to our spot now and then check out ionanapolis.net at noon for some irresistible photos and get all of the information on how you can adopt her. And again, don't forget that we have our daily newsletter that features only the top local news stories of the day. We send it out to your email inbox at 7 p.m. every night. That's 366 days this year, all without a paywall. It's perfect for keeping up with the weekend's news since we don't do a DNB on Saturday or Sunday. And here is a link right here in the show notes for you. Whew, that's it. Now it's time just to say thank you for listening and putting up with us every day. I hope that we add some value to your world. And if we do, please leave a review somewhere and tell a friend to give us a listen. We also want to thank our sponsors, Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, and Hospice of the Chesapeake. It's Friday. The weekend is here. Now it's time just to say have a great weekend, be nice to others, do something fun, and keep shopping local. Now hang tight, DCMDVA Weather is bringing the only locally forecasted weather report for you, and of course, canines and cross tracks, so do hang around for that. All that's coming your way in just a minute. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Is all this talk of inflation making you uneasy? Me too, especially the uncertainty. How bad will it eat into my future purchasing power? Well, don't feel helpless because solar energy can give you some financial control. By installing and owning your solar system, you can lock out electricity cost inflation by locking in your electricity price for more than 25 years. Many of our inflation-fighting clean energy systems offset 100% of the annual electricity demands. Customers frequently add electric vehicle charging and backup batteries to their solar projects, providing them inexpensive auto fuel and additional energy security for the home. Freeze energy inflation in its tracks by committing to affordable, clean solar energy. Call us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Good morning, Annapolis. Still not George. He's doing his best to get back in town, but right now the travel gods are not in his favor. So welcome to my second day of hacking at the weather for DCMDVA weather. Today, Friday the 28th, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 82 and a low of 73. Winds will be coming from the east at 12 miles per hour, and there is no chance of rain, so it should be a really nice day. Tomorrow, we'll start with some morning clouds, but the sun will break through in the afternoon. The temperature is going to rise to 86 with a low of 79. Winds will be stronger coming from the south, southeast at 16 miles per hour. There is a slight, slight chance of rain. Sunday, it gets a little bit dicier. Brings a mix of sun and potential thunderstorms in the afternoon. It'll be the hottest day of the weekend, reaching 92 and cooling down to about 68 at night. Winds are going to shift to the southwest at 10 miles per hour, and there is a 58% chance of rain on Sunday, so keep an eye out for those thunderstorms later in the day. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, Monday, sunny, high of 82, low of 68, 2% chance of rain. Tuesday continues the trend with mostly sunny skies and temperatures between 84 and 70 is the low. Wednesday is going to be partly cloudy with warmer, reaching up to 89 degrees with a low of 77. And Thursday the 4th may bring isolated thunderstorms with temperatures hovering around 90 degrees during the day and 77 at night. There is about a 35% chance of rain so far on Thursday. So 
How'd I do? All right, no, but seriously, keep up to date on the local weather forecast. You want to hit up dcmdvaweather.info, and I guarantee you that George will hook you up with the only local weather forecast you're going to find. Have you ever had to wait to get an appointment at the Apple Store? Skip the wait and the line at the mall by visiting Mac Medics in Severna Park or Lanham, where appointments are not necessary. Mac Medics is an Apple authorized service provider. MacMedic services all Apple devices, including broken iPhone screens and batteries, and all without an appointment. Most iPhone repairs are complete the same day and usually within a few hours. MacMedics is also an Apple authorized reseller and sell Apple products at the same price as the Apple Store. Visit MacMedics in Severna Park or Latham for Apple authorized sales and service and shop local. Don't wait for help. Call Mac Medics at 410-757-MAX, which is 410-757-6227. It's 410-757-6227. Or visit them online at macmedics.com. That can only mean one thing. We're headed to the SPCA of Anne Arundel County with Annapolis Subaru to play with the pups for this week's Canines and Cross Treks. Sponsored by Annapolis Subaru. Higher standards. Oh my gosh, I have never seen the Chihuahua that <laughs> color. That's because because Bella is a Chihuahua pug mix. Chihuahua, that's a cool little color. I mean, she's a no, she's a brindle. She's cute as a button and the sweetest little girl. She's got the little chihuahua head. You can see kind of like the little apple head shape. Right. And then she's got all the little pug face and yeah. everything else. Yeah. So she's a Correct. mix for sure. Three pug tail and the little chihuahua back hips. And then she's also got the uh, the cone. What's, all, what's with her cone? Her cone is just because she got spayed yesterday. But she does have a little story. And that is that um, one of the emergency rooms um, around here, one of the emergency vets actually called me and let me know that unfortunately the owner was not going to be able to treat her, but she had Parvo. So she was a pup with Parvo. What is Parvo? So Parvo is actually um, a very contagious um, virus that mostly affects puppies or unvaccinated um, dogs. So the sad part is, is 91% of puppies that actually get it typically do pass away. Oh. Yeah, it's very serious and their symptoms. Usually it's a lot of throwing up diarrhea and then, you know, dehydration and they don't want to eat and everything else. So it's, you know, it can be costly and time consuming um, to save, you know, the pup. Right. But at the same time, that's why it's so important when people are, are going out to buy from breeders and depending on where you're purchasing a dog is that they actually have the vaccines they should have as a younger puppy. To prevent parvo from happening because it's really contagious. Well, I'm glad she's on. She made it. I'm yeah. glad she's on the mend. She is because there were some close calls there that she was just not feeling too good. And and the hardest part is you know to kind of get them wanting to eat after being so sick. Um, and they're so young and they're fragile and and things. But hey, we won this fight. Billy is missing in action. He is missing in action, and it's just you and me and Bella today. <laughs> which which is which is perfectly fine. It's and great. There's no need for anybody to feel sorry because I believe Billy is on a beach somewhere in Southern I Georgia. So I hope he's out having fun. It's summertime fun. It, it well, you know, I want to talk about summertime fun because yep. I was at East Port Rockin last weekend, and there were a couple people that had their dogs. Okay, now that was a hundred degree day. Oh yeah, and I just felt so bad for the dogs and. I noticed it last week when I went out to get my mail, I went out in my bare feet on white concrete. Okay. So it's not blacktop. And I got out to my mailbox. I was doing the oh, eat, 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 oh, getting back on my front door. People don't realize, I mean, that's their bare feet mm -hmm. that, I mean, so you've got to really be careful to walk your dogs in, a, I guess, in a grassy area. Yes. The blacktop is usually the worst because it is the hottest for the dog's pads. And you have to realize they are in their bare feet all the time. Um, so we definitely ask people to please be careful of that. You know, even sometimes you have decks in your on the back of your house and you're not thinking, you just let them out. Well, guess what? They're in their bare feet. So yeah, very well, good observation on that one. Well, I did see a um thing on your on your website, a little graphic, and said that when it's 75 degrees out, asphalt, so that would be black tar, mm -hmm. is 125 degrees. When it's 86, it's 135. And when it's 87... It's 143 degrees, which is absolutely crazy. Which is what we're up against with this hot weather recently. I mean, the past week, you know, it's been in the 90s and 
and that sun is shining and we're it's like summer heat and not only is it that you know it's not just you know the blacktop and stuff but there's so many other things that go with it and people that are keeping them in their cars and think they can run in and you just can't they should not they have no business being in a in a car in the summertime um you know with the car off or for any any time not even two minutes then we do have a good samaritan law for animals i believe in maryland and if you see a dog in a car I'll say the car is not running. And even in this type of weather, even the windows are cracked. Break the window. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know that you're going to go that, but you, you do you do want to call the police and have them come down yeah, there. Absolutely. Uh, let them break the window. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was kidding. Uh, but I, I've got to be honest. It's so easy to, except you got a Subaru and it tells you you got something in the backseat, but, you know, uh, but to forget that you have an animal in the car and, oh, I'm just running into the 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee. I'm just going to run into the mailbox or the post office to get a mailbox. Mm -hmm. And then I should chat with the guy that's in there for the right. next you run into so. someone, you know, 20 minutes gone by. And unfortunately, that that is way too long in this weather. So the combination of them, you know, being in the car, you know, and the way I always think about it, when it's this hot of weather, the best place for them is at home inside, you know, in an air conditioned home somewhere. And there's, you know, as much as they love to go out and about, there's so many, you know, there's plenty of time for that in the middle of the day when it's so hot. It's just not a good idea. Same with exercising them and taking them on walks and stuff, especially here at the show. Early, early morning, or early evening. That's correct. And even even the early evening, though, has been really humid. So, I mean, I've noticed a lot right. of the dogs here and then also my dogs at home have been panting a lot. The humidity just knocks them on their butt and they're just... Yeah, you know, not only do they get tired fast, but they get dehydrated really quickly. So obviously keeping bowls of water out everywhere and, you know, just shorter walks. And since Billy's not here to cheer on Subaru uh, like he normally is, I was reading that they were recognized by the Points of Light Foundation, which is that uh, George Bush Foundation that was established way, way back when. They are one of the 50 most community minded companies in America. And that's on the fourth year running on that. So. They sure are. That's for that's you know they really are. Where you turn around, it's uh, and I didn't even realize this. I was looking at uh, their Facebook page, and they were a sponsor of the uh, Paint Annapolis program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, I I mean, so we didn't get. I mean, I know it has nothing to do with the SPCA, yeah, but, but just, still, it has to do with our community we live in. I mean, they're yeah. they're there. They're everywhere. So they're absolutely everywhere, and it's so great because they support so many different things, and that's what a community is about. Speaking of support, your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Ziggy Pablo is home. Wait, isn't that so exciting? <laughs> I swear to God, you know, he got that haircut and then he got adopted. You know, that's, that, <laughs> that, that's the deal. And he's now called Buddy, which is okay. Yeah. And I, then I went and looked and <laughs> I saw the dogs that we talked to last week. The, the, I call them the grease dogs. Yeah. But it was uh, Kaniki, Danny, Zuko, and Frenchie are still left. But that means that Rizzo and Putsy found a home. Yeah. And I also saw that Little Cody is not on. Born went home. Isn't that the best? That was such a day of celebrating for us. I mean, he was here since I think February, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, so he was, and it made no sense to me because he spent so much time here in Admin, and I walked him all the time on the on the trail and everything. And then he went over to the main shelter, and for some reason, he was just getting overlooked. And it wasn't because he had any issues; he didn't have behavioral issues or anything. But he went home to such a great adopter. Um, she actually was by herself, so this is going to be her pal and someone to hang out. And she works from home. So Cody's going to get a whole lot of attention. Oh, that's he, awesome. I'm very excited about adopting. So. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, no, I saw that. I'm like, wait, I missed him. Because guys, I see him every week when I look on there. I was like, yes. Oh, my gosh, he's gone. Yeah. Yes, Cody. And, you know, when, they, when they're when they here longer than you expect them to be, because you're thinking, why are they getting overlooked? And then they end up with such a great adopter. You're like, well, that's why. It was meant to be. Well, I see that Bella is perfectly fine with other animals. Yep. She's sitting here kissing with uh, Lisa. Who rumor has it that she's going to be a star? I know uh, she is going to be. <laughs> that we may we may see Lisa in our mailboxes. That's it. Fun show. Yes, she was the chosen one to be on our postcard. Um, you know, we send out our mailings and stuff, and it was a tough decision because we had some really great ones, and we all laid it. We had a, a meeting yesterday with our staff, and we laid out all these beautiful pictures of these animals that we've done good, wonderful medical things for that they needed some extra support when they came came in, and um, and she won. So <laughs> that's awesome. she's going to be the cover girl. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I, I was talking with Kristen a little bit before we started and she said that, uh, and Lisa, for those that don't remember, we had her on here a while ago. She's an older sort of a, a cockapooey kind of a little white dog. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And she had cancer. Cancer. Yeah, with three masses. And she saw an oncologist and and the treatment all went well. And now she is ready. All sorts of good news coming out of the SPCA Absolutely. this week. That's for sure. What's the deal with the kittens and cats? I mean, is it kitten season? It is. We are in kitten season for sure. And they are just coming out from everywhere. And the thing is, is they're as cute as can be. And we actually have a special that's coming up that's going to be... Um, Two for oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> two two for one, you know, kind of like the BOGO. And we're going to do that also for um, cats, for bonded pairs. Okay. Just to help encourage people, you know, a pairs are always great um, for, for cats, you know, and, and it doesn't keep them from socializing with you and stuff like that. Right. It's just, it's just kind of fun, especially for the kittens who go home together. They can play together, hang together, but yet at the same time, you know, they're, they're definitely around. And I, you know, I just have a current number here right now. We have um, 270 cats. Oh my gosh. Yes. What's normal? Um, that is typical. We usually have around 300 cats, but in addition to 199 of those cats are currently available for adoption because um, we have so many medical cases right now and the cats come in and there's some cases and 45 of the ones available are kittens. So 270 cats, that includes cats and kittens. Almost four dozen right kittens. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And, and they just keep coming. Oh my God. <laughs> if we had more space, there'd be even more. You ought to put them all in one room. That'd be, I think that would be. That would be in the stir. And then let Jimmy join in because I know Jimmy would love that. Well, she is cute. And I've never seen a, well, it's, it's obviously a mix, but I've never seen that type of a color, the the very beautiful brindle color. So cute with her little curly tail. You can find out more about Bella at aacspca.org. You can also find out more about Lisa, who is here visiting with us. But she's not featured today, but she's uh, ready to go home. She is going to be the poster child for the next next appeal. And her cancer is in check and a great senior dog. That Yeah, she is a great dog to have around. You know, I'm pretty happy now that as I look at the list of the animals that have all been adopted that have been on the cane lands and cross treks that we've got a pretty good, pretty darn We're doing track. great. Well, if you want to purchase a Subaru, I would recommend Annapolis Subaru. And if you happen to be down in Southern Georgia, I think St. Simons or somewhere around there and you see <laughs> Willie on the beach, you can ask him about it. I'm sure he'd probably That's be more right. happy to sell you one That's right there. Right. The and I do have to share, and you brought that up earlier on how important it is that Subaru does tell you about check your backseat. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, obviously for for kids and for animals, it is just such a big help. I, I imagine it. And again, it's very easy to forget what you have. I mean, and, uh, you know, my, th- thankfully for my experience in forgetting stuff in the backseat, it's usually like Grocery. ice cream, ice cream, <laughs> ice cream or cold beer. You know, which, I have a feeling it might just be the ice cream, not the uh, cold beer you forget. You know, <laughs> so it's um, definitely a great feature there. Absolutely. Um, if you're looking for a Subaru or want to learn just more about them, you can go to AnnapolisSubaru.com. Uh, you can check out their Facebook page. I mean, they got all the customer reviews and everything. Everybody loves it there. And certainly Bella is ready to go home. And this is just the cutest little smushy face that, that, that I've seen in a long time with a very weird and cool coloring. Yeah. So, um, AACSPCA.org for that. And we will see you, I guess, next week. And Bean. Billy will be back with us. That's right. Coping with advanced illness can be overwhelming. And determining the best options for a loved one isn't always so easy. But here at Hospice of the Chesapeake, your hometown hospice, We want you to know you do have a choice. You can choose exactly who provides the care and the type of care you receive. And it's your decision when and where your loved one receives that care. We have served our community, family, and friends for over 40 years. We are there when you need us. Learn how we can help at hospicechesapeake.org. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IonAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.